I don't typically like to double up in tutorials much, but I am going to double up in this tutorial. So um, there's this petal that's a little bit, it has a different color on this flower that I drew. And if I want the other panels, if I want these other petals to match, I can use a different tool. So of, of course I know I need to change the fill, but what if I want it to match this per perfectly? So if I click on this little eyedropper tool by the fill, I can click on the color that I want it to match, and now that petal now matches. So I can go over here, click on the eyedropper tool, select that plum color, and I can match up the color. So that is, um, and I can pick a color off of the screen if I want to. It will match um, whatever I picked. So I just picked the same color. That was dumb. But um, uh, I now want to take this sphere that's behind it and I want to arrange it. I want that to be the top. So that's a little bit of review. So I'm interested in showing you this third panel right here on how to use symbols. So it even tells you what to do. Symbols that you reuse content in your design. Create a symbol with the plus icon from your selected elements. So there's the plus, but I don't have anything selected. So if I select everything, I can hit this plus. I'm going to call it flower. Now I have this flower that's added here. So if I want, I can drag this flower in here and I can have a bunch of flowers and I can have a whole field of flowers if I want to. Now that I added, they can be bigger, they can small, be smaller, they can be rotated. I can flip them. Um, if I want to, with this transform tool, I want to flip them horizontally. So now that's like this flower backwards. Um, so I can create my own symbols. I don't always have to use the library and what's given in the library. I can create my own symbols. This works well if you have something that repeats grass, blades of grass. I want to create one blade of grass and reuse that. Some are big, some are small. Leaves on a tree. Same thing. Things, objects in your scene that repeat over and over again, and I don't want to have to create that would be a symbol that you can create.